informed, outspoken, wild, fearless. This is the Fantasy Football Dudes Podcast. What is up, my dudes? This is Trent with the Fantasy Football Dudes Podcast. I am joined by Phil, Jordan, and Seth. If we Take sound a little two. if we sound a little flat right now, that's because <laughs> you guys missed the matinee. I forgot to hit the record button, so we're gonna redo this all. Uh check us out on YouTube at TFF Dudes. Uh, you can come check out Phil's uh Guardian tie dye helmet he's wearing right now, which is not as funny as the first time I said it. Yeah, I got a bad haircut. Trent's Uh, got a bad haircut. He asked the barber for he's wearing a medium shirt. Jordan is wearing a medium shirt. Don't ask Phil for nasty shoe advice. Yeah, (laughs) nasty shoe advice coming up in a little bit. We'll be doing a dude's aside later about fashion. So, yeah, we'll be doing a dude's. If I could just go through just some overview points of things that happened while we weren't recording, thanks to Trent. Is uh Seth insulted <laughs> my fashion sense? Trent needs to get a better barber or a barber, or maybe just needs to have his wife cut it. Wife cut it because whoever he's going to now absolutely hates him. Uh, Jordan's wearing. I got a- my haircut before the draft, and you said absolutely nothing. Now I'm on here and feels like, man, you get a haircut, it looks horrible. It's like, no, I got my haircut a week ago. It's been like this for ten days. Hey, people Here's say after Open two days, your eyes. People say it gets better after two days. I think your might have gotten worse. Jordan's wearing a medium shirt and he did cardio for 30 minutes, which is a 25 minute basically cool down with followed by another five minute cool down. Uh, Seth had a baseball game today and was yelling cut off and got, fi- you know, got booted by an umpire. And uh, I've just been here sipping water out of my Stanley all evening. Uh, but uh, I think that I covered most of it. Do we do we want to get in the huddle? Do we no. want to get in the draft? What do we want to do? No, here? no, no, no. Before we break this huddle, let's just you know let's recap the draft party a little bit here. You know, just to start the thing. <laughs> do off. you want me to do again. it again? You want me to say no, the exact? No, 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 no. Please, Phil. Your first time was worse. Basically, I'm out here just barbecuing. You know, just slinging dogs. You know, they call me uh, you know, the dog slinger, glizzy guy. <laughs> Yeah, dog slinger back here on the grill. Just, you know, guys are saying, hey, I want this. I want a pineapple sausage. I want, you know, cheddar broth. No one wanted a pineapple brats. sausage. And then, uh, it's worth. Uh, no, all the pineapple sausages got eight. Okay. And I'm pretty sure you had. Hey, Trent, before. that jalapeno one was actually really good. Okay. Yeah, those are always that's good. what I'm yeah, saying. Those. those are elite. Yeah. Yeah, listener of the pod, Aaron came through bringing, you know, the the brats. Those are called brats. You can't find them at Costco. So I'm just slinging those, and I missed the first pick of the draft. I thought like a cockroach ran from underneath the couch, or maybe Phil spilled the chips. Jordan no, ripped his it was, pants. Yeah, it was Caleb Williams <laughs> getting drafted, and I just, I, I really, I didn't believe that it was actually him. I thought it was someone in here, but... Yeah, Phil, you want to go over that again about Caleb Williams? You know, the scream kind of brief, was brief. absolutely terrible. So Jordan wasn't there. Jordan, were you there yet or no? No, I I think I was watching in the car or on mute or I don't know what I was doing. I wasn't there yet though. So he screamed and it sounded like his voice cracked and it sounded just like a hoarse toned scream. It was really odd, really really odd. And then he got up there and I think he was a little bit flustered after that scream. Like he's like, my voice just cracked during a scream in front of millions of people. So I think he was a little bit nervous when he got up there, but it was just a very, that set the draft off into a really interesting place. I will say shout out to Detroit. Absolutely stand up Detroit respect. They came out ready to party. We had at least one of our listeners actually go to the draft was is absolutely Mm -hmm. fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, but overall, Justin, I mean, yeah, Justin was in the house repping the dude. Justin was in the house. I also was slinging the, uh, the dip. I brought chips and dip in a, uh, dip was in a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of like a soft. And, and, and by slanging and by slanging, he means he dumped it out of the container into the crock pot and heated it up. That is correct. That's what he means. <laughs> and, and it's like Phil comes here. He's like, Hey man, you got any outlets for crock pots in this house? Like, like, yeah, Phil, there's outlets everywhere like i don't know why he couldn't just look and find an outlet to plug you the crock so pot in. it was like You're so, so hard for him to figure out how to do it it's like hey man i remember my first time using a crock pot but whatever man like little hey, the chip dip was good the dip was great little hatch hatch green chili i'm here's the thing about hatch green chili it's taking over like the the uh the culinary experience like if you see something that has hatch green chili on it buy it absolutely buy it cornbread uh fajitas burrito uh heck it might even be delicious in ice cream i'm not sure hatch green chili flavoring is absolutely fantastic Why would, would you agree with that jordan there? it was good it was a good dip okay 
why why ice cream, Phil? Like, what made you think that was good to throw that in there? Well, people put chili. olive oil in ice cream. Have you had that olive oil ice cream? It's pretty good. Salt and straw. I, I, I maybe have, but I don't know. Hatch green chili. Uh, Seth was the only guy not in the attendance at the draft. Seth had a baseball game, so Seth, you missed out on a good time. Uh, the Glizzies are flying. What, Seth? I was bummed I couldn't make it. That draft was good. Just around a grill. It's a good. Always a good time. Always a good time. Just a bunch of dudes grilling out in open we, air. Nice weather. The dudes were well represented too. We had guys from you know the the plains of Chowchilla all the way from the deserts of Bakersfield all the way to the prairies of Lemoore. So the you heartland. Know, we were, yeah, we were representing at this draft. So that's that's a good deal. Yeah, I think even a guy from Lindsay came. You know that was kind of random, but any guy from Bakersfield came. I, Phil, that's why I said the, the desert desert's of Bakersfield. Bakersfield. I, oh, I, I didn't hear listen that. To what Sorry, I say, I but no. lawnmower. Yeah, I just kind of shut it off. Uh, one of the things that I will say is there was probably 15 guys, you know, in a 500 square foot facility. Yeah, and we wouldn't want it any other way. Correct. Yeah. So, Seth kind of hinted at it. Do we just want to get into the lawnmower talk? I'm willing to just you know let the lawnmower ride on should, over. Me should we want. wait? Should we wait till we actually get to that sponsor? I, I don't know. I just it's, it's I kind of want to come out end. with it's, it. It's, okay, it's we'll, we'll just. It's at the end. Uh, today's winners and losers are brought to you by our friends over at Underdog Sports. If you like simple, fast, and fun, then Underdog Sports is for you, where you can pick them, watch them, and win them. Get five picks right, twenty times your money. It's built for the fans, and you win your money that same day. It's best ball season, guys. The rookies are drafted. Go join a best ball. Have some fun. They will match up to $100 into promo code DUDES, and that uh, really helps us out, guys. So head over to Underdog. Uh, do you want to just throw in biggest draft surprises, Jordan? You want to do that now, or you want to throw it in with drafts, winners, and losers? You want to just go I over mean, some draft surprises? I mean, I feel like it's like all lumped in with winners and losers, right? Like, I, I don't yeah. know. How do, you, how do you differentiate from... I mean, obviously there was the one big surprise, but I mean, I think we we're going to cover that in the. Yeah, we'll cover that. Yeah, definitely. There was the one big surprise. Uh, yeah, we we can do that. We can cover it there. You're right. So we'll hop into draft winners and lose. Actually, you know, this is this is story worthy. You know, the last running back domino has finally fallen. You know, that's kind of a big deal. You know, oh, Zeke signed with Dallas. It only took me seven minutes to talk about this, and uh, I. I honestly, like, I'm being totally honest here. I meant to bring tinfoil into the my recording area right here. I was going to get tinfoil and make a hat because I'm starting to I'm starting to believe all these Dallas Cowboys uh, conspiracy theories that are out there. Have you guys heard those? No, no one tell heard us. Them? Do no. tell. They the rumors are is that Jerry Jones is trying to blow the thing up. You know, so he's kind of he built, you know, some good pieces. He drafted some young linemen, got some linebackers. He didn't get a running back. At the end of this year, he can pay CD Lamb and Parsons. He's gonna let everybody walk. Team's not gonna do good, brings in Belichick, gets a high draft pick. That's that's what uh that's what you know Cowboys Twitter is really talking about right now. Wait, so like for next year, so like they'd have a high draft pick next year. They'll have a high draft pick next year, and Belichick will come in and take the reins. That's what that's what everybody's and they'll draft saying. A, and they'll draft a quarterback, quarterback or running. Yeah, quarterback. I think is what they would do. Yeah, I don't know who the quarterbacks are. But so they're going to let Deion Dak Sanders talk. So letting Dak walk. Yeah, that. But how that, are they going to have a high draft pick though? Like th th they're not, not going to be, be that bad. Yeah, they're not going to be bad. They they probably could get. Uh, Sanders, don't you think you just Shadir, have to be inside or, the top 10? Shadur, is it Shadur? Shadur, yeah, because right? Dion's I mean, not mock, him. Hey, the mock that I saw, Shadur wasn't even a top, wasn't even in the first round. In the mock that That's, I saw, I know he was the favorite though to be number one, right? At number this one, yeah. draft for next yeah. year. I think there's a lot of mixed opinions on him. I, I agree, but no, that's that's just the deep, dark, you know, Twitter conspiracy. I seriously was gonna bring tinfoil on and put it in on my head, tell you guys to come on YouTube and look at it. Would have been better than what, your haircut. Oh. That's what people are thinking about. Uh, that's what people on Twitter are saying is Jerry's trying to blow the thing up and get a new coach and get a high draft. The pick. thing is, there's absolutely nothing wrong with your haircut. You just make fun of my quote unquote Edgar haircut so much. I just have to, I just, I'm just going to keep throwing pop shots at you. This, entire you know, pod. Phil hurt people, hurt people. You told me that once. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, 
whatever. <laughs> so uh, let's break this huddle, I guess. We'll get into draft winners, draft losers. I got a couple winners. Jordan's got a couple winners. Seth's got a couple winners. Phil, you can kind of quarterback this thing. At the end of this show, we do have a dudes decides coming back. Phil is going to break down the worst fashion fads of our lifetime. So I think that'll be fun. We got divas, all that good stuff. So uh, let's head over to our draft winners. And our draft winners are brought to you by our good friends at Sleeper. Think you've seen the best fantasy sports app? Think again. With the new dynamic payouts, your winnings can soar. Just add predictions to your contest. Use the Sleeper dynamic payout. Multiplier and decide if each player will outperform their projections. It's that simple. You can win very big here. I believe they have the highest winning payout out of all the DFS sports. Uh, someone just 100 times their money tonight. Enter promo code DUDES100. They'll match you up to $100. You can take up to 100, 100 times your entry fee. Dive in now. Elevate your fantasy sports experience. And again, enter promo code DUDES100. And guys, they have really good fantasy football there as well. Like I don't like playing leagues anywhere else. Perfect time right now to start a dynasty league. You know, you got all those rookie drafts coming up, all that good stuff. So head over to Sleeper. Tell them the dude hey, sent Did you. you guys see now that you can do like alternate lines on Sleeper? I haven't seen that yet. So like, for example, like tomorrow, Jason Tatum's point line is at 26 and a half. But you can go to his thing and you can alt those lines all the way up to 40. You you can keep four. You can just adjust it to make it worse, or like make it higher point total, or yeah, higher or lower. So they have alternate lines now on the point. Interesting, interesting. So I don't know how that would work on other sports, but like MLB, uh, like so. Let's say the Cubs pitcher tomorrow. It looks like it's just on um, basketball. You can alt them. Okay. Yeah. So like if Jason take. If Jason Tatum's line's like 21 and a half, you can pick 23 and a half. Is that what you're saying? I think it's uh five intervals of five, okay. like 20, mm -hmm. 25, 30, 35. So With what a higher payout. For, for, yeah, higher payout, like for uh football, that could be kind of fun. Like you could do like a hundred plus hundred plus yards, hundred plus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I see what you're saying. No, yeah. that's good. So Phil, you want to quarterback, these, uh, you want to quarterback these winners and then, uh, how do we have this set up here? I got go, winners. I'm going to go with winners. Yeah, I'm going to go. I think, Seth, you have the biggest and most glaring winner, glaring in a good way. So I'm going to kick it over to you first. You want to talk about the Bears being winners in this year's draft? Yeah. So, I mean, you go down just to get them getting the first pick. You know, they trade, you know, away to get that first pick. Um, and they get Caleb Williams with it. Obviously, the best player in the draft. Reason why he went 1-1. One, one. They got rid of their quarterback in Justin Fields, you know, who is low in completion percentage. And they figured, you know, Williams can upgrade their team and they did. And then what's even crazier is you put him on a team with two talented receivers already. And then you go and draft Romo Dunze and that just elevates your team. And then in the third round, they go and select, uh, what's his name? It's a tackle out of Yale. Um, his name Kirian. I'm not even going to try to say that last name. Um, and I just think that's they just really bolstered their team in the, the areas where they needed it. I don't know if they necessarily needed Odunze with the weapons they had, but they figure you know the most weapons you can get on the field to get open for Caleb Williams is going to make your team better. And then they get a tackle out there to make the other guys compete. Um, I don't think the Bears are going to be you know, the top in the division, but I think there's definitely a chance with the roster they have right now. But like I said, we're going to see this team actually start to win games now. Like it's yep. not going to be these last years where they just been terrible. So. No, I couldn't agree more, Seth. I think they made a lot of really good decisions. Adunze was huge. Obviously you dub baby, let's go. Uh, but uh, Jordan Trent, any thoughts there on the, uh, on the Chicago bears? <clears throat> I, I thought the Adunze pick, I thought that was really good, you know, stacking him up with Williams. Kind of what I'm thinking here is like, where do you put, you put Adunze as the number two, you know, let's say rookie dynasty draft right now. Who's the number two receiver on your board? I'm thinking of doing a super flex dynasty rankings next week for next week's pod. Just, uh, you know, it's just a future, you know, just a little uh tease right there where would you put a dunze are we still keeping harrison at one and then a dunze at two 
in a super, you know, in, in a wide receiver draft? Or do you think no, neighbors I, is still? I'm, you think it's I'm, neighbors I'm, still? Na- I'm neighbors. I'm on neighbors. Even with the Emmanuel Jones, you, you like neighbors more? Yeah, because I think there's less weapons there. The Giants That's receivers true. are horrible. But, but like, let's not think of just, you know, next year. Let's think about future, too. So, like, yeah, okay, in three but years. Like, that's where I it gets neighbors, a little tough. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because it, it's because you know, dynasty, but Allen's like, not going to be there forever. But don't, so. but don't we also think that Daniel Jones isn't going to be in New York forever? Like, they're probably close yeah. to taking a draft pick here too, picking a Maybe. quarterback again. Yeah, I don't know. Is he is he a winner? Do we have him on the list? He was a guy. He's not on any of our lists. But I thought he walked away as a draft winner and, you know, maybe not just like he got neighbors and also they didn't replace him. Right. Like that's got to be worth something. He's still the quarterback there. And uh, we don't know what's happening with Darren Waller. I feel like he's going to retire. He retired. But, uh, I thought he, he just, did retire. Uh, I thought, no, someone he just put, he's, going through a, uh, he's going through a contentious situation there. I, I'm not. No, sure it's still he, uncertain. It's still uncertain. He is yeah. going through some family situations here. Um, okay. yeah, I thought I saw that he retired. Then I heard today that he's still like not completely sure okay. if he's retiring. So. I think he plays. If I, if I'm being honest, I think he plays. I, yeah, I think he plays. Let's, he's going through a, let's not act like he's played the last two years anyways, though. You know what I'm saying? Like he's let's, let's use the term playing very loosely. Right. But, uh, I think Daniel Jones is a big winner in this draft. Just the fact that he gets another opportunity on this team to get something going and gets a good wide receiver prospect. But who else, you know, is there anything yeah, else you want to say about a Dunze there, Jordan, or about Seth's pick? Or you're good. And Jordan, think... maybe, maybe put your camera back just a little bit more. Oh, you're good there now. Okay. What do you got, Phil? Yeah, I think that a lot of people are sleeping on this, but Jordan actually has, and I'm going to bounce around in here a little bit, Trent. I'm going to go with you next, but Jordan actually has Justin Herbert as a winner, and I would say most people didn't like the Chargers draft picks. I could be wrong, um, well, but I want to hear. Wait, what just, you're go to I, just go to that's Jordan. That's what I'm then. saying. That's what I'm saying. Jordan, you said you were going 